Are you one of the witches or Puritans? Will you create despair or hope? This is New Salem 2nd edition with the Constable expansion. What is it about? In this video, we are going to show you what to expect from New Salem, and if you watch till the end, we hope you can get a good feel for this game. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Yippo University. Now, let's get to the table and find out some more about New Salem. Released originally in 2015, then re-released in 2019, New Salem is a set collection and social deduction game set during the Salem Witch Trials. The game was designed by Brian Henk and Clayton Skank and published by Overworld Games. The game plays 3 to 8 players competitively in 30 to 60 minutes and is of light complexity. New Salem mixes two familiar mechanics into a single game. On one hand, players are competing in a very simple card drafting and set collecting game. To begin the game, each player receives a character card showing icons representing two or three of the game's six building types. In each round, there will be a simultaneous card draft in which players will select between two and four cards each. Players will be trying to gain cards matching their character, worth one point each, or to complete sets of three matching coloured buildings, whether they match the character or not, and each set is worth two points. Separately, the players are divided into two hidden role teams, the Witches and the Puritans. The Witches will attempt to spread despair throughout the village by playing cards showing the despair icon while the Puritans will attempt to find the Witches and remove Despair by whatever means possible. At the end of the game, if the village collectively meets the minimum threshold for Despair, which depends on your player count, then the Witch player with the highest personal score wins. If Puritans can keep Despair low, then the Puritan with the highest personal score wins. In this way, the game has a social deduction element, as personal and shared incentives will frequently contradict. Players playing as Puritans may choose to play cards which bring despair, if this completes a building set for their own personal points, but this may be at the risk of appearing to be a witch. Justice and death buildings add further uncertainty. The individual justice buildings will add two despair, but completing the set will remove three. And the death buildings work in the opposite way. Working on these sets gives witches a clandestine way of attempting to add despair while still appearing to help the common cause. Since this is a social deduction game, there is a way to stop the witches by identifying them. Each round, one player will be designated the constable, and that player may spend hope, which is the game's currency, in order to play an event. One of the key events in the game is to put a player on trial under suspicion of witchcraft. A player who is put on trial can no longer spread despair. And at the end of the game, despair is removed from the village for any correctly accused witches, but is added for any incorrect accusations or any witches who escape detection, and so accusations cannot be thrown around flippantly. The constable will be moved from player to player after each event, meaning all players will have their chance to make event choices. Some events can be used to remove despair, and the Constable expansion adds a new and wider variety of events into the game. After five rounds of drafting, end of game despair is added or deducted for the results of the trials. The winning team is determined by totaling up the number of despair on the board, and the player on that team with the highest personal score wins the game. And that's what to expect from New Salem. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope that it helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please help us by hitting the like button. Subscribe to us. You can also hit the meeple in the corner to do so and hit the bell icon so you'll be one of the first to know when we have new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board game journeys. And finally, if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write them in the comment section below. Until next time.